So you may be wondering how is thyroid disease and blood sugar connected? So as I said many times before, the thyroid is a small organ, but it regulates everything in your body and that includes metabolism. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am so happy that you are here today. Today, we are going to be looking at hypothyroidism and diabetes. Is there a connection? If you have diabetes, can you develop thyroid disease? How would having thyroid disease affect your glucose levels? Now these are just some of the questions some of you may be wondering. If you watch to the end of this video, I will give you a very important tip as to how you can prevent diabetes using a natural remedy. So let's get started. Now I remember when I was first diagnosed with hypothyroidism, one of the questions the doctor asked me was, does diabetes run in your family? I told her yes. So she then asked me if I'm diabetic and I told her no. So at that time I was wondering why would she ask that question. So she then told me that she was just making sure that I don't have an underlying issue that may cause, that may have caused hypothyroidism. So diabetes and thyroid disease are both endocrine or hormonal problems. In fact, if you have type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome, your risk of developing thyroid disease is increased. And thyroid disease increases your risk of developing metabolic syndrome or type 2 diabetes. Now this association is even stronger if you are overweight or obese. As you know, when you have hypothyroidism, one of the symptoms is weight gain and so some people struggle to lose weight. Hence, your risk of developing diabetes is a lot higher. When thyroid disease occurs in someone with diabetes, it can make blood glucose control more difficult. So as I mentioned before, the thyroid is a butterfly gland in your lower neck just beneath the skin. It regulates your body's metabolism. You know, the processes of using and storing energy by releasing a substance called thyroid hormones. Now, if it produces too much thyroid hormones, your metabolism quickens, and that is in the case of hyperthyroidism. Too little, and your body function slows down, and that is in the case of hypothyroidism. Let's look at how having a thyroid disease affects your glucose level. First, we will focus on hyperthyroidism and its effects on diabetes. Now, your medication will pass through your body more quickly if your metabolism speeds up. And because your typical dosage does not stay in your body long enough to regulate it, your blood glucose levels may rise. And the thing is, it might be difficult to distinguish between hyperthyroidism and low blood glucose. Now, if you have hyperthyroidism and you're sweating and you're trembling, you know, you may mistakenly believe that you have low blood glucose and consume more food, leading your blood glucose to rise. Now, what you can do to avoid this is by using your glucose meter to check for a low glucose level, right? So that is for hypothyroidism. So we will now look at hypothyroidism and its effects on diabetes. Now, when your metabolism slows down, your blood glucose level may drop because your diabetes medicine does not pass through your body as quickly as usual. And so it will stay active even longer. So in hypothyroidism, it's often necessary to reduce your dose of diabetes medicine, and that is to prevent low blood glucose. So you may be wondering, how is thyroid disease and blood sugar connected? So as I said many times before, the thyroid is a small organ, but it regulates everything in your body, and that includes metabolism. So because thyroid disease disrupts metabolism, blood sugar that would normally be utilized for energy, it begins to build. This will actually elevate your chance of developing diabetes and makes managing your blood sugar more difficult if you already have it. Now, high blood sugar caused by thyroid disease can also contribute to metabolic syndrome. And metabolic syndrome is just a cluster of five conditions that includes high glucose, high blood pressure, high glyceride, low HDL cholesterol and a large waist and that increases the risk of heart disease, diabetes and stroke. 
So how do you manage or prevent your condition, whether it's diabetes or thyroid disease? Now, if you've been diagnosed with thyroid disease or diabetes, one of the greatest strategy is to prevent the other illness, and that is to achieve or maintain your target weight. Controlling your blood sugar or thyroid, or thyroid hormones can also assist. Now, thyroid problems can make it difficult to regulate your blood sugar if you have insulin resistance, which is when your body doesn't respond to insulin as it should. Now, you may be able to avoid diabetes and thyroid disease by treating the insulin resistant with medicines, diet, and exercise. If you have hyperthyroidism, by managing it with medicine, diet, and exercise, you can also reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes. I did mention at the beginning of the video that there's one way you can naturally prevent diabetes and that is by using a plant called knee. Now I will leave the link in the description below so you can read that article for yourself. So all you do, you just boil water and add like maybe two or three leaves and then you let it seep for 10 minutes before drinking it. And what it does, it boosts your metabolism and it's also used to heal many, many diseases. But let me warn you that this tea is very bitter. Like when I drank it for the first time, I was like, meh, this thing bitter, but it is very good for you. Again, you can just read it for yourself. Everything will be in the article. So all right guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and press the post notification bell. Until next time, bye.